Hello everyone, this is Aaron Carlino from Left in Maine. This is part two of my tutorial of the Uploadify module. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to build a front-end form using Uploadify. As you'll see, this form is a job application form that is related to the job application page we looked at in the CMS. Only this time, instead of assigning the files to a page, we're just going to be collecting them for an online form. So let's check this out and see what we get here. And you'll see that this resume uploader is only accepting PDF files. The others are grayed out. And this is asking me for many letters of recommendation, so I'm going to choose three here. And to prove that this was successful, I have download links for all of the files that I uploaded, and they're separated out into resume and recommendations. So let's try some, some more advanced stuff and see if we can fail validation. And it's now telling me that I've forgotten to enter my email address. But you'll see that the file that I uploaded is still intact. This is because Unlike the Swift Upload module, Uploadify is a normalized form field, so it's aware of its value and how it should retain its value. It's also aware of how it should validate. I've specified the letters of recommendation as a required field, and you'll see that upload several letters of recommendation is required, or écrit in this case, because I have my browser sent to French. So, let's look at the code and see how all this works. Here's my front-end form called Apply Form. I have a first name field, a last name field, a position, and everything else is pretty much uh, a standard form. Here's my file upload field for resume and my multiple file upload field for recommendations. I use required fields the same way, referring to both those relationships. I've set file types for the resume as PDF only, and I'm allowing doc and docx for the recommendations. I have commented out here an option that some people might want to enable, which is Upload on Submit. You may have noticed that the upload starts with Uploadify field after the file has been selected in the dialog box. Some people don't like that option because it can lead to user error in uploading the wrong file. Uploadify field will allow you to replace a file that was not uploaded correctly, but for the sake of cleanliness, you might want to leave the file in the queue until that Submit button is pressed and after the files are uploaded, the form will be subsequently submitted. But I've commented those out for this example. In the handler for this form, this form that I've created, we have a really simple mechanism for storing the data. I've created a job application object in this case. Let's look at that for a sec. And you'll see that the database fields and the database relationships for this object are all in perfect alignment with the form that I've created. And because that's the case, I can just use the save into function of my form to write itself into that object. Uploadify field is smart enough to look at the relationships that are built on that object and save into them correctly. You might not always want to do that, though, if you're not storing the data in your database. And quite frankly, storing resumes is not the, maybe the best practice uh, to be doing on your website. So let's look at another option, which would be to just send an email to an administrator. We'll comment out this do apply function, and we'll uncomment a new one. Here's a different way to handle it. We can set the from address as the email address that came from the form. The to will go to some administrator, subject, and a body just saying someone has submitted the, the application. Create the email object, 
And now we can look at data resume ID. Because it's a has one relationship, Uploadify field will send the resume ID as the as the as the form field because it's managing that has one relationship and it knows that it's it's going to refer to a foreign uh, a foreign key in that case. So we can look at resume ID, get file by ID, and then simply attach the file in this line. Recommendations is a little bit different. Recommendations is not uh, a field on the parent table, so we can actually refer to it by the relationship name recommendations, but we are going to have to loop through that array of IDs. If it's a has many, it will always return an array. It won't return a single ID. It, if you only upload one file, it will be an array of just one ID. So here we loop, loop through every single one, attach the file, and then of course send the message, and we redirect back to the form with a success message. The final thing we'll look at is the template for that page. And getting back to the original example, the way we know that it's successful is if we passed the application object back to this controller and we're able to say, okay, thanks for replying. And we can actually we can control the application object and loop through all the data that was saved to it. And of course, here's our has one relationship to resume. Here's our has many control recommendations, standard has many uh, practice in Silverstripe. And we can say the name and the URL for download. All of this code will be available on my website, Left in Main, and you can look forward to checking out more about Uploadify field and downloading some code examples. This concludes the second part of the tutorial, and in the third part, I'm going to start talking about integrating Amazon S3 storage with Uploadify field. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.